What's up guys, Mace here, and welcome to episode 4 of The Wolf Among Us, in sheep's clothing. And it's been a long time since, since I've uploaded the uh, Squeaky Jeff video to my channel. And we'll just get straight into it and I'll explain why. So the reason why is um, I've had, I had a tooth infection, or I don't know what you class it as, infection, in my gum. Which was, I was in serious, serious pain for about a week and I pretty much couldn't do nothing, couldn't even eat. That's sorted now and um, look human. You're going to the I'm it's as simple as that. got another well, dentist appointment idea, tomorrow, so to have an hopefully it's sort, sort of sorted after I finish off my root canal, which I had to have. I can't finish the mirror. It's and I've, well, it's, I've been like over a week, so I've had like a week off not doing much. I've, I've been streaming a bit. Oh, well, quite a bit. Over like, the last three days, I streamed quite a lot. Thanks for covering for so, last time too. all my information, my Twitter, and my um, you do this to me? Twitch will be in the description if you want to check it out. And we'll just get on with this game now. After Crane's a dirty bastard, we figured that out. And I killed Tweedledee, or was it dumb? I don't know, we'll find out in a minute. Must they shot a shit out of me, I can see that. Big bad wolf. Oh, that's it. I ripped his throat out. Lovely. It was a good show, but you know, just take him, okay? Take Crane. I should break my arm, didn't you? Well, I need to sort my fucking chair out. The beautiful relationship you have with you guys, really. I mean it. Bloody Mary. Good. Out with the old. Fuck yourself. In with the new. Long live the queen. That's true. Long live the queen. Okay, it's rainy. I can hear the rain. Hope my chair. I just need to stop moving this time. It's a bit loud. It's a lot of blood. My arm's still like dangling. Oh, it's this bitch, is it? See you around. No, nightmare. Mm. Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. Ooh. Uh, it's fucking me. Okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay. His internal organs are positively riddled. <laughs> if I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Fuck was that? Oh, blood. We can't keep me in this Ooh. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Weapon. What? What happened? If you explain it. There was. You got lucky, and found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon. All right, big Ed. Me. <laughs> Please, Big B, don't move it, Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, cool. All right then, let's do it. I mean, uh... Oh, come on, man. Uh... Oh. Kind of. Pop it back in. Oh, fuck it out, man. Popped it in. Ish. That's right. Could have helped, no? You bitch. Hmm. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to I've you. I've got to finish what I, I started. That. Well, he should. <laughs> it's not like I asked for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged <laughs> it either. I started shit. <laughs> A 
Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the world. Oh, with Wolf. Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so... Don't worry, Snow. I'll be right. okay. Don't worry, love. Sweet cheeks. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Come here. Where's all the bullets that are in my chest? Hey, Doc. How much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. I want to sit there. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. <laughs> Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Been stuck with us. You please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open. <laughs> yes, that would be helpful. Don't want to be a dick to Colin. <sighs> there. All done. I didn't know it's all done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time. That's quick. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Oh, really? Miss White. Let's have to kill the other one. You'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I could take care of myself, man. I will. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. Snow has enough to deal with, Swinehart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. <laughs> Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. Rude. What's Colin ever done to you? Right, back to work then. Where's my shirt? So, how do you, um, feel? Like I've been shot like 20 times in the chest. <laughs> it's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Don't worry about me, alright? I'll be fine. See? Strong as an oak, <laughs> this guy. I'm lying. I'm in pain. <laughs> I'm glad you're not dead. At least someone is. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. Ow! It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I'm fine. I've never seen you like that. And when Swinehart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... I don't know. It was just... awful. Snow. I never... Cheesy! <laughs> I took a, a silver yeah, bullet to heart. Yeah, you really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. <laughs> Colin... I'm just saying, I was wrong about man. him is all. Guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or That's something? That's my shirt. And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The crooked man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah, it is. It's all yeah. fucked up. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible you or just change desperate. Your coat. Well, Bug him. if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. <laughs> so he called my bluff. It's not like I'm going to let Bloody Mary just murder him. It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow. Don't make her feel good. All that back there. She knows she made the right choice. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? I would be dead if I was. Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb. What else could Snow do? 
she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been exactly. taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. You should... All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? Everything. I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? They made the wrong you know, enemy. I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <sighs> Remember what Swinehart said, okay? Take it easy. Make them heads off. Quite easy. The Crooked Man declared war against us last yeah. night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. I can only do things the way I do it. And where has that left us so <laughs> far? Put it in me, but it works. Excuse me, but it's left us with a name. Maybe the name, the Crooked Man. That's not good enough. You can't so, change me. Starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the I ain't changing for no woman. As an arrow. Pure is driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter. Sure, you're not. Oh, Colin, it's getting feisty. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night? Connor's like a little dog. Turned into, it can't happen again. Why? We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? Be done and buried, and we can all move on. I'm sure from your vantage point, it's extraordinarily easy oh. to judge me. Big B. But you sit behind a desk all day. Only tonight will you see what it's like to be pushed into a corner all the time just for doing your job. You think I don't know what it's like to have my life in danger? To not be pushed to do things? I know what it's like. And I know what it's like to lie to yourself. She didn't get shot a lot. To justify done. So don't talk to me like I'm other people. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. It's got a point. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby. Don't be such a dick. <laughs> but this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Oh, okay, Hold on. Who says I'm sloppy? I always do what I do for a reason. And it's all turned out how you planned. Yep. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it. Good. Okay? It's just that... Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. Just a little bit. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay... Oh, fuck you, Snow. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. No, no, no. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. They know what a pig is. It's not the end of the I'm world. I'm not forcing that. That's not gonna happen. Yes, it will. Fuck you, Snow. It's an impossible rule to enforce, Snow. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. Colin's a good guy. And so's Toad. Saves his dick. Residence. That's rude. Oh, Wuffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Did we have to get the mirror fixed? Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Crane. Bloody Mary. Nerissa. Oh. Nerissa? Oh. Broad from the pudding and pie? Mummy. Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Yeah, uh, I've got a special date with her. You always do well with the uh, disenfranchised. Yeah, I do. 
Something about I'm your the people. prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. She knows something. Please help me a little with this case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to Snow's the business. Snow's alright, little snarky little, little bitch. Alone for too long, taking calls. Little snarky little bitch. <laughs> Double little. And I should probably change out of these clothes. I would advise you. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Aye, no point. Let me know when you're done with Marissa. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Colin's a little bitch, though. She's a piece of work. I like him. Hey, you're not really going to send me to the farm. Nah. I mean, she seemed real serious about it. But I can still hang out here, right? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. I did play a house down. Don't worry about it. Thanks, baby. Yeah, I did. And Crane can fuck, not Crane. Colin can smoke and drink. He's a badass. He's a pig that can talk. <laughs> and Toad. I'll keep Toad, maybe. Unless he gets shitty with me again, he can fucking go to the farm. Hello! Close the door. <laughs> and then we have this again. Can't skip it either. Okay, we have to watch it. Again, fourth time lucky. So I gotta keep my friends close. The wolf among us. Episode 4, In Sheep's Clothing. Dun dun dun! What up, bitch? Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Marissa. What you, got? What you got for me? She's helped me out. Go on. Why is she smiling? I... um... Are you okay? I got shot a couple times. <laughs> I'm all good you now. didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be... You know, around... If I came by. Don't be fooled by... This. I didn't get the worst of it. <laughs> you should say Tweedle D? Well done. I can't remember which one I killed. I think it was D. On a fag? People smoke those. Well, I'm a bit of a tramp, you see. Yeah, have a light. What uh... Thanks. So, what brings you here? So, what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. Yeah. So that spell crane was trying to break. Not just while you're at work, huh? What is it they've got to say? What I need. I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. So you know something. Back in the dressing room, with the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me, and sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just go ahead. It might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? There's fag ends everywhere. <laughs> These lips are sealed. Shit. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. Well, no. 
Yes, no. That's why I said my lips are sealed. Well, these lips are sealed, whatever yours. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I. I used to have friends to help me find my way. I'll be your friend. But now. See, so you, you can't hold yourself to one woman. You've got to spread yourself about. <laughs> Is this making any sense? Not really. Maybe. I'm not sure how I can. You can trust me. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. Yes, and you I, do. It's me. I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. All right, all right. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? I'm sorry. Fuck's sake. Figure but fuck I that. This. I need you to know. I want to help. Take the ribbon off. But. But your lips are sealed. No, not they're open now. <laughs> I'm. Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Eight four one two. Do you like it? I want it. Hmm. Do you? I'm trying to help. I just don't know what I can do. I think I fucked up again. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Grab it. Give it to me. Can't we just take the ribbon off? No, these lips are sealed. What? You can't. Just stay oh. back. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. That's why I'm lucky I didn't rip it off. Please, don't. I'm tempted to do it now. <laughs> Shit. I keep fucking up. I should have done it. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if we take them off. Dun, dun, dun. What happens? Does the head explode like in Battle Royale? Or Royal Battle Royale? What's that called? If anyone finds out I came here, don't worry, I took him out. It's probably snow. Hide in the corner. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation yeah. between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. I won't tell anyone. Don't worry. I can't tell Snow. Thank you. You can't tell her about your secret. Other. It's a bit late now. Oh, she's got a black coat. Oh, great. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse me. She knows you're here now, though. Now I'm gonna say to her, oh, my I lips are sealed. For you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, sheriff. You should go on to your next business. Oh. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. I kind of want to see what happens. If you took the ribbon off. That was... Uh, abrupt? Yeah, her lips are sealed. One way to send a message. What did she tell you? Can't tell you that. I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off? No. Or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then. Good work. I think. I'm guessing so. So you could have killed her, I reckon. Maybe? I don't know. Is there something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the crooked man? 
Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? Yudi told me she had to take out a loan from a crooked man. Seems like pretty a fucked up. Pretty bad deal. Oh. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. Need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. I got achievement. I didn't have a clue what happened there. I um missed every bit of that. <laughs> Never mind. 